those of you who've been a part of the show for a long time will remember we had a sound bite a long time ago, um, the whole bloody outrageous thing. And do you remember what that came from? Yeah, it was something about, I vaguely remember, some CIA shit. So Xinhua, again, which is the top tier news yeah. outlet of the Chinese Communist Party, right. they put out these uh, videos in English. Yeah. Okay. And this, for the sole purpose of swaying opinion abroad. Yeah. And they put this parody thing out, mm -hmm. this 007 James Pond parody thing. Okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think I'll give you guys a little refresher so you can... You can oh, this, again, is, this will hurt you. Well, I mean, you've seen it before if you're a long time... It's, but it's yeah. cringe as F. Yeah. Let's take a look. What a beautiful castle for a secret rendezvous, Agent 0 0.07. Why do you make an accent, Agent 0 0.06? I'm practicing for my new mission in America. And squeeze me. For now, China is our top priority. That's bloody outrageous. Is there anything China doesn't watch over? Indeed, it's preposterous. Jet trap, data trap, fish trap, they're all the same to me. Squeeze me again. And they speak American, <laughs> not English. Yabba dabba do. He's obviously shaking his turn now. CIA certified phones. <laughs> can I say something about yeah, that? You, yeah, this of is your segment. You I just want to yeah. throw something in. No, it's our segment. Go for it. This was this was China's effort. By the way, I made it better. I cut it better. It, it actually makes more sense. Yeah. Your cut makes more sense. Yeah, it was nonsense. Yeah. So that was China's effort to really up their budget and try to appeal. Their the whole thing was like, we are going to appeal to the dry British sensibilities and humor. And they put it out there and it actually went a little viral. Yeah, because um, some big news. Yeah, like PBC or something. Anyway, they covered it. And then everyone that comes like, what are you talking? This is the worst shit I've ever seen in my life. This yeah. is not funny. It doesn't even make sense. And it sucks. Well, you know what it is? That's bloody outrageous. It is. Is there any? So, oh, yeah, yeah, but one more thing. Yeah. So, Indeed, so. it's preposterous. <laughs> it's preposterous, It dude. is preposterous. Yeah. <laughs> so the people in the comments are like, what are you talking about? This is, I'm British, this sucks. This is horrible. It's not yeah. funny at all. And then the, the Wu Mao's are like, you obviously don't understand the nuances. I am a British. Yes. And I, in our England, we think this is so funny. Yeah. <laughs> it's so yeah, funny. Some it's nonsense. Hilarious. Anyway, so uh, they got the same team back together. And they released now, of course, we're not going to bore you because they released two very boring and dry and long so parodies called The House of Cuts, which is supposed to be like a, a House, House of, of Cards, cards yeah. um, you know, parody. It's even more painful somehow. Yeah, and it's got the same actors in it, but yeah. you'll see someone else makes an appearance. So let's let's take a quick look uh, at what this is about. Mm. House of Cuts. This is about McCarthy, right? Or the House. What, what do you mean? House of Representatives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, House Mr. of Cards. Yeah, no. Yeah. Because we got a comment about this. Chinese spy balloon. Afternoon, yeah, Chinese spy farmland. Oh, Evening, Chinese spy crane. Good. Keep up the fiction and friction. And they help suppress these stories. Morning, Nord Stream sabotage. Afternoon, toxic mushroom clouds over Ohio. Evening, protest over NATO. So, um, I just want to ask you, though. Were those stories suppressed? Uh, no. They were literally the top news of every day that they happened. Yeah. This this is a new thing that they do, by the way, mm -hmm. is they know how the algorithm works for a lot of people. Let's be honest, a lot of dumbass people yeah. will only look at one thing and think that's what's happening in the world. They'll read like patriots.biz or something, some sure. random thing, right? Yeah. And they'll be like, that's what's happening in the world, you know, and it gets fed to them, right? Yeah. And China takes advantage of that by saying, America hid the story about Ohio. They didn't talk about the train derailment. They didn't talk about the Nord Stream explosion. And you're like, you check every main news source. And you're like, that's literally the top news story. Yeah, today. just because people weren't interested in it, you know, doesn't mean it but was suppressed. It, they, but they were interested yeah. in it. Yeah. It was huge. But mm -hmm. what they do is they rely on the people that didn't hear about it or didn't hear that much or something. They're like, see, America yeah. suppressed that. And then it deflects away from the fact that China controls all their news. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Anyway, let's continue because we'll see how this goes. Wonderful red scares, especially when they are so red herrings. Have your skill sets. You guys should be up in everyone else's game. When Americans believe a giant Chinese balloon is watching right over their heads, who would say no to flying our fighter jet, to acquiring some new military bases, or to selling more weapons to Taiwan? 
Just make sure not to dub twelve dollars. Happy Club Bloom is a miss on this time, guys. <laughs> what did he even say? <laughs> what the? Does he even yeah. know what he's saying? Well, I mean, look at what they're trying to do here. They're trying to say that the the Chinese spy balloon wasn't a spy yeah, balloon. Yeah. It's like by by creating humor, but the humor sucks, so it makes yeah. it worse. Yeah, it's... you just admitted everything. Absolutely. In that skit. Yeah, of course, it, of course, it was a, a spy balloon. By the way. Um, and now they've re- released that the bloody spy balloon had a self-destruct mechanism in it. I wish right. I had a self-destruct mechanism after watching that. Yeah, I know. I had a stroke watching that. <laughs> blah, blah, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. yeah, exactly. What does he say? Yeah, make sure it's not a $12 hobby balloon. But you, time, like guys. the fact that they need subtitles up there, what are you yeah. doing? Yeah. You're just, you're, you're, these poor people are reading this like placard or whatever and they have no idea what's going on. Yeah. So they, um. By the way, I cut out a whole thing about Adrian Zenz. They did a thing about Adrian yes. Zenz as well in this. It's just, it's pathetic because what they're trying to do is they're trying to like poo-poo your idea. Ha ha, yeah. you say this is true. No, no, actually it's not true. We're just pretending, you know, that kind of thing. So, it's nonsense. But let's see because they, they put out a sequel. House of Cringe. Yeah, House of Cringe for sure. God, these people think they're funny. Yeah. And clever. I'll do discipline or camel, don't listen. You got that as a pass? <laughs> what, kind of, what kind of cadence and like language is this? That's that's the same woman who said preposterous yeah, yeah, or whatever yeah. instead of preposterous. Uh, pre- 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 now pet. she's got me all mixed up. Yeah, it's like how do you discipline a camel that won't listen? And she's like, you got that as a pet? Well, let's see. I mean, what is this all about what exactly? Is this camel. Mm, let's find out. I'm talking about Saudi Arabia. Oh, the country that not only says no to increase its oil output. But cut it, and cut it before our elections. How about we held our arms out? That offends our donors more than the Saudis. How about we pull our troops out? That makes our enemies stay more than ruin the Saudis. How about we freeze their assets, as we did with the Afghans and Russians? She's not disciplining the camel, but we beat their way. But we needed to sustain <laughs> many things, most importantly, petrol dollars. I will start by condemning their human rights. That's a ten dollar toy gun we point at those who don't work our way. Yeah. What are you even saying? This is the shittiest dialogue. They're just trying to be clever. It's not clever. I know it it's not sucks. clever. It sucks. It's rubbish. It is absolute rubbish. It hurts. <laughs> I usually laugh at Chinese propaganda. It sucks. It's <laughs> no, man. gross. I kind of like the ten dollar toy gun line, though. Do you? I guess it's ridiculous. <laughs> It's preposterous. It's preposterous. Oh, we just don't get it, dude. No, no, we don't get it. It's too. It's above our it's pay grade. Too, too. Anyway, what's going on? <laughs> you whip the camel. Dude. Yeah. Vampires. That's how you devour a whale, though. One bite at a time. Who's that? What do you want? Mm, let's see. A fun day following plots, huh? Following Yay. plots is fun. Dear one. Not so much as making plots. Take a seat. This is Dear Wang. Yeah, Dear so, Wang. So, why do you think we work so hard to contain China? By the way, can Chinese state media get audio right ever? Never! It's ever. always Dude, so bad. Shitty YouTubers like ourselves have 10 times better audio than the top state, which is yeah. funneling billions of dollars into these the projects. The entire Chinese government cannot yeah. get audio right. You guys suck! Yeah, do it right. No one can even hear what you're saying. Do you want me to give you some tips? Yeah. Like okay. what equipment to use? We'll, how help, to we'll help you out. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, Dear Wang, Dear Wang is back. Although I Her s- name is literally Dear Wang. Yeah, although was. was Dear Wang. I fixed that, unfortunately. Yeah. But the thing is, um, she's back, but this was actually shot a while ago, because yeah. if you... If you take a look at what gets said, even though this was only released like three or four days ago. Yeah, there's actually a huge conspiracy plot we have. Yeah, well, we'll get into that in a minute. Why do you think we worked so hard to contain Japan in the 1980s? So, what cards do you think we may play against China then? You don't bet on visiting Taiwan, do you? If not skillfully played, that wouldn't secure your house position. Just like... What Mrs. Soon to be former speaker did. So, what would you suggest? Why don't we make people believe China's to invade Australia? With AUKUS, we can sell many, many more submarines. What else? We'll make people believe that all of Chinatowns are Chinese overseas military bases. And what else? Make the Europeans believe that China's collecting data by selling its electric blankets. In that case, they either buy our LNG 
or just burn firewoods. This is what our foreign policy is about. Walk our way or fade away. <laughs> Yeah, it's tough to it's tough to even get into that. It's such nonsense. You know what I mean? Dear Wang, Dear Wang was her previous name. I want you to explain to everyone who she is in case you're a new subscriber. She is one of uh, China's, you know, traditional old, well, almost wolf warrior trolls. They mm. use her to like just be really mean about America all the time. Yeah. So again, uh, somebody who works for the Chinese government and for yeah. their media. As you've got, you did put up her thing, didn't you? We'll give you a very, very succinct um, mission statement of what she's all about in yeah. a minute. But I did make a video a while back because she makes these very insulting and horrendous videos and music videos. Terrible. Um, Terrible. We love her though. She's yeah, because it's cringe. It's like these cringe. horrendously bad. This is she, like funny cringe. Yeah, it's funny cringe because she dresses in white face all the all time. All the time. She loves white face. Yeah, she dresses like a Karen. She's such a diva. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And makes these things about how bad America is, and you know, like that type of thing. So here's a little refresher over here about what she's all about. The travel was from China only. That the coronavirus was present in the United States as far back as in December 2019. There's more than one million WHO two plays. Ten years ago, we had gun violence. Today, we still have gun violence. You mean to tell me America bombed its way to peace and democracy? America first. Ow. With the highest number of confirmed cases and deaths, a champion of the COVID-19 resilience ranking is what you see. There's no need to go out of your way to be the first, America. Without tracking, the deadly virus went out of control. You're the first in number of COVID cases and deaths. Manipulating WHO is fun. You're the first in the polarization of rich and poor. It was too late for quarantine, good luck the poor and old. You're the first in number of foreign wars waged. You're the first in terms of gun violence. America first added just not welcome to the world. You're the first in number of deaths from drug use. Information gerrymanders collection results. You're the first in number of prisoners, most of whom are people of color. If your system make you all, but it costs so many woes. Stereotypical and insensitive way. China's realized it's impossible to awaken a guy who's pretending to be asleep. Nobody's blaming me because I'm asleep. So what Dear Wang is all about is she goes out there and puts together these sort of vile, uh, low brow, low blow videos and attacks. Oh, America's so terrible. China's so great. America's all, you know, the worst and China's the best. She basically. says vile things. Just absolutely vile. Makes um, fun of American people dying. Put out that video, a very racist video about Indians with stereotypical yeah. stuff. Yeah. Um, like you said, making fun of people dying and, yeah. and that kind of thing. So it's not good. Uh, yeah. Anyway, like you were saying, I made a video about her. I called it China's Dear Penis. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, propaganda is vile. Because she used to call herself Dear Wang, okay? Yeah. Which um, we understand as Wang. Yeah. But Wang, most but American people read that as Wang. But I pointed out because, you know, she was very active on Twitter attacking America all the time and doing things being very so, bad, being mean, mean and stuff, you know, usual wolf warrior stuff. So people were making fun of her name and she didn't understand why. So I pointed out to her why Wang is seen as a colloquialism for penis. You know, penis. And I explained to her in Chinese and stuff. And she immediately changed her name to Dear Wong with an O. And D-I-E-R instead yeah. of D-E-E-R. No, I think she did. Yeah, she did, yeah, didn't yeah. she? Anyway, the fact of the matter is she changed She changed her name. I'm surprised she didn't know that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is actually her profile on LinkedIn. Yeah. And do you want to read what it says there? So... Her LinkedIn here, it's very interesting because remember, China tries to make her out to be a song translator, social media star. You know, yeah, they tried yeah, to mobilize yeah. the pretty girls. Remember that whole thing? They had yeah. like over 52 influencers from around the world where they mobilize these state propagandists, but they don't call them state propagandists. They call them like hot song translator. Oh, it's just or like, like an influencer yeah. sharing her, you know, daily stuff. life. Yeah, yeah, yeah kind of just thing. a daily life. So that's what they portray Dear Wang as, right? Yeah. But if you look at her LinkedIn, it says she's a Tsinghua University graduate. Very impressive, right? Mm -hmm. But her job is administrative work. By the way, she's a researcher and research team member of administrative work responsible for the affairs of international forums, including uh, interpretation, recording. Uh, sorry, it's very small. Yeah, it's copywriting. copywriting work responsible for the strategic transformation of CCTV, which is China's propaganda network. Yeah. And the news evaluation project of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, literally the Wolf Warrior Department exactly. of the Chinese government. Mm -hmm. 
uh, and participating in the public opinion collection of international mainstream media and think tanks, analyze the project and write an evaluation and analysis report uh, of tens of thousands of words, which will be used to provide feasible suggestions to the strategic research and development department of CCTV and the information department of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Literally yep. a CCP member, a yep. CCP operative. Yep. For influence campaigns to manipulate maliciously yep. the opinions of people in the West in English. So there right it is. There. Yeah, it's in black and white. All you have to white. do is translate. It. I could translate it from uh, yeah from yeah. the Chinese. So I mean, again, when you see the the so. propaganda, these these songs, the pretty faces, all this, uh, you know, actually what it really is, is it's just manipulation and it's yeah. just the Chinese government. Bum, 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 so the reason wow. we're even talking about Dear Wang again is because she suddenly sprang back into action. Yeah, after crazy. After being completely radio silent for about four months, she was very active on Twitter, as you can see there, January 8th. Just, just so you know, remember, years and years of being racist, disgusting, laughing at Americans, dying, like reveling in death and destruction, right? Sure. And making fun of all this stuff. And then all of a sudden you did this expose. Yeah. And again, and then, this, none of this was new information. You've done all this in your expose. Yeah. But they pulled her for like four months until the other day. Yeah. All of a sudden Why? she starts uh, tweeting again. See, look at the last thing she did was tweet out this. Yeah. The tweet out Cyrus <laughs> Jansen, as we all know, is a, uh, a propagandist, you know, yeah. on behalf of the, the CCP. At least. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like, yeah, you know. Yeah. So suddenly she starts becoming active again. Just a few days ago, because of this whole Taiwan, uh, Tsai Ing-wen and McCarthy meeting. Yeah. Leaving vitriol. It just goes like machine gun fire. Yeah, exactly. And it, it's, I guess it's made to look organic. What I suspect is that the CCP took control of her Twitter account. Probably had control of it before, but yeah. took control of it and said, hey, we have an account. We need to mobilize to, to sh shit on Tsai Ing-wen's visit with McCarthy. Yeah. And they used all of the accounts at their disposal to do this. Because yeah. you don't go four months retirement. Exactly. And then just start bam, 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 right? Yeah. Uh, so what I think they saw your video and they said, well, this she's obviously having a negative effect on China's propaganda. Yeah. And then they're like, shit, we need all the followers we can get right now to Yeah, exactly. For this Tsai I mean, she's visit. saying stuff like uh Tsai Ing-wen is bowing down at America's feet, yeah, you know, and Yeah, you know, the shit, usual, usual yeah. garbage that you would expect, you know. Yeah. Um I did reply to a couple of her tweets and asked, or well, told her that it makes me irritate. You know, <laughs> it's like, from, uh, and I said, uh, does it make you irritate? Makes me <laughs> irritate at the mission of Big I used to, I mean, I'm pretty chill with like, even if you're going to do your job and be a propagandist or to work for the CCP, it's whatever, but she's wicked mean. She yeah, like calls course. people bitches and sluts and stuff. She's awful. Yeah. She actually yeah. got banned from Twitter once from calling someone a bitch and a slut. You remember that? Exactly. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, um, anyway. Yeah. So they mobilized her, right? Yeah. But in this whole process of mobilization, we had missed one song she had put out and we think <laughs> it's an absolute gem. So yeah, this is the fun part of what we do. Yes. Let's take, let's take a listen to this song over here, shall we? All right. The chain of common follow your gut What be a high net director even says cut The way you thought there would be a new crop Dream of top ticker boots like dog dog Give a shot, don't be trapped in the dark patch No one ever said the path is always as flat Like a new brat, so what if you go mad? Never try to make everyone glad Go back for a second Sure What the f Pardon my language, what the fuck was that? <laughs> What was that? Yeah, it's it's a pretty interesting um, song. <laughs> what? I, I was I'd seen it before, but I just didn't even pay attention to it because I was like, well, because it's auto mute, right? Well, no, it's like I'd heard it and I'm like, what is this nonsense? And I'm like, it's not even worth talking about. <laughs> what? Yeah. What? Why be a hard nut? What? Is, she starts. A hard... a... Yeah. What is a hard? Okay. This yeah, we know that. Why be a hard nut? No director even says cut. The way you thought there would be a new crop. Dream of top ticker boots like dog dog. <laughs> what? Is, what? I don't, I mean, I didn't know what this meant. Yeah, so we looked it up. So, I thought you were saying Dig Dug or something. Well, like, I want to go to the whole genesis of this song. Right. There is a song from a movie yes. in 2020, which, which this instrumental is from. It's like a MIDI version of it. Yeah. And it was about being youth. It's called Shaonian, right? Yeah, so it means youth. And it says Yingwen Ba Wan. So she, she sang it, but it's originally from uh, Meng Ran. This is a singer in China. Mm -hmm. And... The song is about like your tr troubles when you're growing up, right? 
Yeah. But it's not a direct translation of that. This is like Deer's own interpretation of it. It's got to be. And it's yeah. so weird because the, the phrases don't even make sense, right? Mm-hmm. But this one in particular, we love this one. Can you get us out of there so yeah, you sure. can see it? It says, take your roots like Dug Dug, right? Yeah. Now, I'm familiar with Dig Dug. Me too. Which is an old Atari game. Right? Yeah. You dig down. It's an old arcade game, yeah. yeah and you, Atari game. You know, you yeah. inflate the dug. dudes and like, yeah, anyway. Yeah. So I'm like, is that what she's talking about? Right? So I looked it up. It's apparently a, a, a shitty app from like, like a mobile game. A mobile something. game, yeah. yeah, from 2014, which is a copy of Dig Dug. In a way, yeah. So she thought it was so appropriate yeah. to talk about a 2014 ripoff of Dig Dug in her modern new song. I know. It's kind of interesting. I just found this. I found this fascinating. It's stuck in my head all day because these lines are so stupid. They're so <laughs> unbelievably stupid. Can you play it all the way through again? Yeah, yeah. We'll stop I want everyone to absorb it. Okay. Yeah, you, you gotta like get it. it stuck in everyone's head then, eh? Yeah, but there's gonna be mad memes coming out of this one, I'm sure. Keep your chain up, come and follow your gut. What be a high net director even says cut? The way you saw it, there will be a new crop. Dream of top, take your roots like dog dog. Give a shot, don't be trapped in the dark patch. No one ever said the path is always as flat. Like a new brat, so what if you go mad? Never try to make everyone glad. What the? Seriously. I mean, wow. Yeah. Wow. Anyway, that uh, she posted that as kind of like a um a rebuttal to some of the criticism she received. <laughs> yeah, this is yeah. her like brush it off, girl. <laughs> yeah. <that's laughs> Bro, right. you work for the Chinese government and <laughs> to make fun of mil- you your job is to go out, put on white face and say, yes. "I'm glad all these old Americans died of COVID" and then laugh. Yeah. And then dress up as a witch. Yeah. yeah. It's like, what do you expect? People mm-hmm. are going to get mad at you. Sure. Anyway, oh, so geez. just thought we'd bring a little bit back, a little bit of the lore back here, because you yeah. may have seen echoes of Dear Wong here and there on the channel. Now you know what it's I, about. Seriously, that was another stroke moment for me for this episode. I yeah. literally feel like, felt like I had a stroke. Yeah, <laughs> sure. That was bad. <laughs> I'm not going to get all, like, feminists or weird or anything like this, mm-hmm. right? I'm, I'm going to... Yeah, you ready are. <laughs> this guy's like absolutely not you can't say no to me yeah that didn't work so what does he do he doesn't get the chanel bag it's a chanel bag right oh i bought you this bag i mean at the end of the day like you don't buy people that's not how things <laughs> work you know works. you can't buy a relationship no <laughs> oh <laughs> look at this dude he comes in <laughs> he comes oh in. it just comes in like waxing yeah <laughs> so he has a tantrum and he's like i don't think chicks like that <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm totally honest. I don't think chicks You're not going to annoy them like, into a relationship. <laughs> yeah, gonna, love me! Love yeah. me! 